Shana Tova, everyone. Gemar Chatima Tova, and now Chag Sameach. Instead of sending an audio message this week, I decided to speak to you from inside my actual sukkah. This is my eating sukkah. There is another sleeping one upstairs. That's the beauty of Eretz Israel to be able to sleep with the weather being absolutely perfect. I welcome everyone to come to my sukkah this year, next year, be in touch with me. But it's been a tough morning, so I'm actually going to sit down as I speak to you and just tell you that uh, Sukkot, very briefly, I'm not talking about the Parashah Ha'azinu, uh, but Sukkot is the Chag of Eretz Israel. It's the Chag of trying, because it's not just remembering Yitzhak Mitzrayim, it's actually more about the 40 years, the trials, the tribulations, the life itself. It's not just the end game of Eretz Israel, which is obviously important, but it's all about how we are as people on the trials and our life, our efforts to make it actually happen. We're meant to remember, of course, the pillar, the cloud. Maybe they sat in real Sukkot. I'm not sure they sat in a Sukkot, something like this. Uh, they probably had more palm trees and it was a little bit uh, laid back and not so uh, like I've got here. Although I have to say that it's not bad. But it's remembering the, the cloud also, how we were covered up by Hashem, that He protected us for those 40 years. The relationship between Am Yisrael and Hashem was built during those 40 years in a way that it's very hard for us to understand today because in some ways maybe Hashem is hidden and we only see uh, snippets uh, in real life, whether it be the victories, whether it be the, the state of Israel growing. I mean, they're great things, but I don't necessarily see it the way it was, but Bamidbar, with the clothes and the food and the water. But to remember those 40 years, we actually build the sukkah. It's also one of those um, mitzvot, as we know, that can only be fulfilled with our whole bodies. Just like, of course, um, Aliyah, Yeshuv Eretz Yisrael, is done with your whole body, so too is actually coming into a sukkah. So wherever you are in the world, obviously it would be better to be in a sukkah here in Eretz Yisrael and to make Yeshuv Eretz Yisrael, but if you are going to be there, then you can maybe think in terms of how great it is to be in a sukkah just under the stars, under Hashem's canopy, and think of the day that you'll be in Yerushalayim, maybe in my sukkah here in Malay Dumim, maybe join us in Kvara Temanim. There's a lot of things happening, by the way, this sukkot that's worthwhile for everyone to join, but you must be in touch with us. We'll be having a musical halal and davening on the rooftop of Bet Hanof, looking down at the Harabait, even without the Bet Amigdash. One day it's going to be like this. This is what I have in my sukkah. One day it's going to be like that with Amisur coming up from the east, the south, the west. Something absolutely special. Of course, we've got... Uh, uh, an artist who painted something like that and one day maybe this is what you'll actually see you'll get there with the light rail the better migdash who knows all i know is i wish everyone a chag samar please join us if you are here in israel and you're hearing this please join us as i said for the tefillah chagigit and also very important to come to simchat better shiva on the same wednesday night be in touch with me uh, very important also we've got a hakafot shniot at the place of kikar hagvura um, where Reb Nechemi Lavi and how can I possibly forget? Pina Chama. Everyone buy coupons. Help out the security personnel. Take on a project. Hashem has blessed you. It's a new year now. God willing, we've all been blessed as individuals and as Am Yisrael. And may Hashem look after you and your families. And remember, whatever you're given by Hashem, He's looking to see how you're going to use it for your Shalayim. Chag Sameach, remember the Al Minim, all the things that we have to do, have a strong backbone, look, things like the eyes, the lips, what we say, what we look at, what we feel, and how we act. The four different things that are symbolized by the Al Minim, remember that when it comes to the, the mitzvah, the Al Minim. Chag Sameach and Shabbat Shalom.